welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny. And today, guys, I am at Taco Bell. Taco Bell just brought out a Bacon Club Chalupa. A Bacon Club Chalupa. I'm going to get it out here. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to taste test it. I'm going to rate it from 1 to 10. I'm going to uh, tell you if I like it or not. And if that all sounds good to you, I please ask you to subscribe. Show the subscribe button some love, guys. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it, but show it some love. And if you've already subscribed, or if you don't want to subscribe, can you give me a thumbs up on the video? It just helps my videos out, helps the channel, helps me support, helps you support me in bringing you more reviews, guys. Okay, today I got a little bit of a, a combination of a video here. So I got the new uh, Bacon Club Chalupa. It's limited time. But I was looking at the menu, and you know, I, I decided to show you what you can get at Taco Bell for $5, guys. $5. So, this Bacon Club Chalupa, which is right here. You know the Chalupas aren't that big. Let me get the receipt up just to make sure about the price. Oh, wow. So, online... Uh, it says uh, $4.99 for this new Bacon Club Chalupa. But here in Ohio, they are charging $5.59 just for this Chalupa, guys. But I said, Penny, I want to show my Penny Pinchers crew, my subscribers, who I call the Penny Pinchers crew, I want to show them what the difference is. So this Chalupa is $5, but did you know... At Taco Bell, they have a classic combo for $5. Do you want to know what's in the classic combo for $5? I'll tell you. It's a large soda fountain drink. It is a crunchy or soft taco, no sour cream. It is a beefy five-layer burrito. And cinnamon twists. Or you can get the nachos and cheese, or the chips and cheese. You get all that for $5, guys. And I spent over $5 just on this chalupa. I just wanted you to know that if we, you know, this time, day and age, we all got to pinch, pinch our pennies, right? And I just wanted you to know that I'm thinking about doing some videos of these different fast food restaurants and doing their value meals and kind of comparing and rating them for you and tell you if they're worth your money or not. So let's let's try this new bacon uh, bacon club chalupa limited time. We're going to try that. I'm going to rate it for you. I'm going to tell you if it's worth the five dollars. Like I said, it's it, online it says $4.99, but they charged me five. Let's get it right again. They charged me $5.59 for this in Ohio. Oh my $5.59 just for this chalupa, guys. So what's on this thing? I'll tell you. It is chicken, three cheese blend, bacon, lettuce, avocado ranch sauce, and tomatoes. Now, I was told that this auto avocado ranch sauce is delicious, so I got an extra cup of this avocado ranch. They're charging 50 cents for this little cup of our avocado ranch if you want extra. So, I got it extra because I was told if this isn't all that great to dip it in more of this, and it might make it better. <laughs> I want to make it worth my $5.59. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see if this has what it says it has. Ay, ay, ay. Let's inspect it before we wreck it. And I know I'm going to wreck it by looking in here. I want you to see it. It's the fried bread, lettuce, tomato, <laughs> bacon, chicken, some avocado ranch. I'm seeing it. It's going to fall all out. It's like, guys, I'm just going to, I'm going for it here. Let's get a couple bites of this.
Okay. I like that avocado ranch on there. I like the bacon on there. This is giving me like a club vibe, okay? Like a club sandwich vibe. Okay. That's not bad. Now their bacon is in crumbles. It is pretty salty. But I like the chicken and bacon and the avocado ranch. I like that flavoring. I'm getting cheese and everything everywhere, guys. Cheese and bacon and okay. What am I going to rate this? This is pretty good. I want to try an extra dip of avocado ranch. See if it improves in any. 50 cents more. No dip. Got the dip. That bacon is pretty salty. Mm. If the bacon wasn't quite as salty, I would rate this a little higher. But, it does have a good flavor. I'm trying not to factor in the money for this thing, okay? Because I know there's other things. I'm trying not to factor in the money. I'm factoring in the taste. I think this thing deserves a solid eight. A solid eight, guys. Um, if you get the chalupa nice and fresh and it doesn't taste like it, I've gotten the chalupas before and that fried bread tastes like old oil or it tastes stale. This is fairly fresh. You know, I went like at 11 o'clock, so it's fresh. They probably just fried it or whatever they do with them, right? Yeah, it's... It's an eight. Now, I don't know if it's necessarily to buy this extra avocado ranch. I mean, if you really like it and want to put it on everything you got, maybe. Just an extra 50 cents as far as I'm concerned. You really don't need it. Well, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I'm going to get this thing out of my way somehow. Put it somewhere. Up there. I got cheese and everything all over my little table here. Okay, I want to talk about this classic meal, okay? Classic combo. For $5. And yes, they charged me $5 for it. Nothing over. $5, okay? So, a beefy five-layer burrito cinnamon twist or you can get the nachos with the ch or the chips with cheese and a crunchy taco or a soft taco now if you want to get the supreme with the tomatoes and sour cream or i think they put tomatoes on this if you want to get the supreme with the sour cream they're going to charge you 50 cents for the sour cream i did not get it so i wanted to show you and a large drink for five dollars a taco bell so if you're pinching those pennies i feel like just, you know, looking at this, $5 is way better than spending $5 on that bacon, <laughs> that that bacon club chalupa. Okay, let's try out the taco. We all know what the tacos taste like, but I got to try it out. Oh, I'm getting cheese everywhere. That's what it is. That's how tacos are in a car.
It's our plain classic taco. Now, just the taco by itself. Sour cream would make it like an 8 for me. Without the sour cream, it's more like a 7 out of 10. Just the plain taco. i move that out of my way for a second. Let's check out this beefy five layer, excuse me, beefy five layer burrito. How big is it? Let's check it out. There's your beefy five layer burrito. It's a decent size, I mean. So, I'm gonna get crazy here. I'm gonna rip it in two. Cause you know how like when you bite at the end of a burrito, all you get is like the rolled up, oh, does it have cheese pool? You get the rolled up burrito. Set that over there on the paper. I don't see much beef. I see bean. I guess there's beef mixed up in there. Let's give this a couple bites. And there's cheese like around that, like the, the nacho cheese around the edge. Let's give it a couple bites. I mean, it's nothing exciting. I'm going to dip it in this avocado ranch. See what that does. Oh. I always hit this table. I always hit it. Try to reach for my napkin or whatever. That beefy five liter burrito. I feel like they put more beans in it and less meat. There is some beef in there. Uh, it's cheesy. It's more like a cheesy bean burrito with a little bit of beef put in there. rating this thing it's like a zhuzhed up bean and cheese burrito it's only like a 6.5 out of 10 for me I mean it's okay if I'm trying to make my $5 stretch and I want to be full I would get it but it's not exciting it's not exciting sometimes you don't need exciting right sometimes you just need to have a, a, a quick lunch and you want to like not spend ten dollars for your quick lunch so here's what i always like the cinnamon twist let's see if they taste the same it's got a little bit of cinnamon and sugar on them and i got I, what do i got on my hand did you see that man oh i don't even know what i have on my hand it was white and i don't got no sour cream i don't got no I don't have any sour cream. Let's try this in a bit. Oh, Back in the day when they used to have these, didn't it didn't the cinnamon and sugar be like a lot like thicker on here? This is just like just goodness. This is just like kissed with cinnamon. And sugar. <laughs> They're still good. They are still good, guys. Nice and crispy. A little bit sweet. I'm pretty good. I'll just leave them sit here. Might eat the rest of them. Okay. The cinnamon t twist to me, <laughs> they're like a seven. They're like a seven. It's a little something a little sweet. Seven out of ten. But I got a question for you. Do you want to try that Bacon Club Chalupa for five dollars? 
Or would you rather take your $5 and buy the classic combo? Tell me, tell me in the comments below. I would like to know. Like, I mean, for me, if I want to try, if I'm really dying to try the new thing, yeah, I might pay $5. I already did. But I'm saying if I wasn't doing these videos right and I wanted to try the new limited time item, I might pay the $5 just to eat that and try to enjoy it or whatever without making videos for you guys. But I feel like the $5 classic combo, even though they're not, ex the stuff's not exciting. It's a regular taco. It's run of the mill. That, bur that f beefy five layer burrito. It's run of the mill. It's not exciting. And my, that beefy five layer burrito, I believe I've had it before at another Taco Bell and it tastes a little bit better. That's probably because they put a little less bean and a little more beef in it. Excuse me. But then you get a, you know, a large soda. And then you get the cinnamon twist. Or you can get the chips and cheese instead of the cinnamon twist. I think I would go for the combo if I'm trying to have a decent lunch for $5.00. Because if I'm ha trying to have a lunch to be full and, you know, get the Taco Bell experience, just buying that uh, bacon club chalupa for $5 just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like you're getting the value out of it, you know? Because most people eat that that uh, bacon club chalupa and they, they, they spend $5 on it and it wouldn't even be full. Then they'd have to get a drink, which would be two or three more dollars. Then they'd have to get some chips or something and cheese. That'd be another dollar. And then most likely they'd have to get a taco or a taco supreme or something to fill them up. And that's another couple more dollars. I mean, shoot, you'd be spending eight, nine dollars on, on that scenario. So anyway, comment below. What would you rather do? Would you rather go and try this bacon club chalupa for $5? Or would you rather take your $5 and get the classic combo where you get more stuff? You get, you know, a taco, you get a burrito, and you get some sort of chips. And a drink. What would you rather do? Let me know. And if you like this idea of this video, like doing the value meals at different places, let me know too because I would like to do that. I'd like to go to Burger King and do some of their value meals. I like to go to Wendy's and do what their biggie bag they got for like $5. Wouldn't mind doing that to show you. Um, McDonald's still has like a value meal thing. And Taco Bell has like their, their value craves or whatever the heck they call those. The things that are like a dollar, two dollars, whatever. And if you know of any other restaurants that have like a value meal or combos or whatever, let me know that are, that, you know, that are, that are low priced, like $5 and below. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's it. That's it. That's all I got for today. I hope you have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, I hope you have a great day, guys. Have a great day. And until next time, bye-bye.